What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of the Uncensored Podcast. I'm your host, Slap Rock the King, and I'm in here with the Uncensored crew. Lil Honey is in the building. What's up, Lil Honey? Hi. How you doing? Wait, I say Lil Honey, but ain't it a Lil Honey? Is, is that's my IG? So oh, okay. So I'm, all right, because I'm I don't a feel like I was ever gonna a say a Lil Honey. A Lil honey. Yeah. Thank you for the shout out. Right, right, whatever. Um, yeah. So more wine is in the building. Hey, wine. Hi. We're so glad to have you here. I'm blessed. Thank You're, you. You look like you've been blessed. No, oh, yeah, it's been a little. We got yeah. a little cleavage, cleavage today. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Listen, we appreciate Ooh. it. Can I say something? I didn't even quick? know you had the titties out. All right, my bad. I got just, you. just real quick. <laughs> Philadelphia. Don't talk oh. about the potholes. No. Mm-mm. This has to be. Is this the only city in America that? Has the people crossing the street at the same damn time that the traffic does? Because that doesn't make oh, sense. No, no. Especially no, in the New city. New York is like that. Uh, I don't like, think LA is like that. Some niggas really scared that's to jaywalk in LA. They but, get arrested. Yeah, I, when I was just in LA, everybody was looking at me and my brother like, <laughs> these motherfuckers walking across the street. <laughs> like, fuck with you. Y'all waiting. Ain't no cars in sight. Right. They was not crossing the fucking street. Well, that's a good thing because mm. crossing guards will make the kids cross the street when the car is coming. Yeah, so that's a bad thing. that is true. Right. Yes. Like, how do crossing guards do that? Like, well, we we don't have we don't have good crossing guards. We don't. No, we don't have good oh. crossing that's guards. That's a smoker they, mom. Yeah, somebody Ooh. that just so, yeah, Damn. Somebody, yeah, for real. She I like, had good crossing guards when like, I was growing up. Out nowadays, you right. Hold up the yeah, it's not line. the same. She out there on her Bluetooth. Miss Mary used to be on her job back in the day. <laughs> I remember Miss Mary on her Bluetooth. <laughs> Did you say Blanche? <laughs> Blanche. <laughs> Hell no, no. not blue. I'm not, You've been I'm like, not I told no that bitch. Tonight. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> she didn't argue with her fucking husband. And Hold shit. on. <laughs> Almost made me get this yes. little retarded boy hit by. <laughs> Bless, I gotta go. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Part she be having a slow, the slow side going the wrong way. Right. I don't know what's up with these fucking like, crossing girls. Back do in I the do? day, people took that shit Seriously. to heart. Mm-hmm. When you was a crossing guard or NTA or what, mm-hmm. uh, what they used to call safety. them? Uh, a yeah. yeah. oh, yes. the one with the uh, oh. safety. Yeah. 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 Like an orange. Yeah. But listen, my, was, you know, back if you got to do the first of all, you get to leave earlier than everybody. That's else. true. So that's true. My I was telling my son's father something about a kid that was somebody did something that's a safety at the school and I was like you know the safety he was like what's the safety I was like the people who help people cross the street my son was like they don't do that they hold the doors I was like well that's different yeah. <laughs> cause no. that ain't what we used to be with the crossing oh, guards no. like oh, oh, no. all schools they don't have safety, but a lot of them still do but a lot of them don't have safety yeah. No, 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 they 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 done got away. Got a little like badge and stuff. But mm-hmm. uh, no, New York is like that too. People cross the That's street. So stupid. It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, you should you you just gotta be more you know no stern behind the wheel. Listen, it was a cop. A it was a cop hurts. out there, a, a traffic cop that was not yeah. directing traffic. And I'm like, if you see all these people crossing the street because the street is blocked off, why are you not stopping them and letting all these cars back up like that? Yeah. And I was just he. I looked him dead in the face and turned on. That red light, like, like, what you doing, nigga? <laughs> Thug life, Thug life. All right, y'all. So look, we got. Uh, I don't. Even, I. I don't actually want to call you a guest, but this is your first time here, so I got to call you a guest. But she is not a guest to us. She is um one of our future sponsors and. For sure. Miss Tania Pratt. Don't ever uh, say my uh, whole name like that. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ever, ever. See, he I did that because we went to school together. Right. Yeah. I love so, you about to punch him in his face. Yes. Oh, like, man. come on. Oh, <laughs> no. Let's, okay, let me rewind that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> T is in the building. <laughs> yes, from yes. T and Company. Oh, that was your rewind? <laughs> hey, I rewind this <laughs> right. Yo, you ain't got to do that, bro. You ain't just leave it the way I rewind it. So you ain't got <laughs> T, what's up, T? Yes. How you hey, feeling? You I'm all right? Good, y'all. You good? I'm T good. has her own convenience store and her own catering company. Um, she um, catered catering our event, styling. She catered our um, our game, game night. night. I don't yes, think nobody ever so had, had a game night that been catered for. But yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but uncensored. We killed did. It. I mean, yes, uncensored. we did. Yes, made did. made yeah. to order. Yes. Yes. Listen, Listen, fresh. To order. Yes. Chris. I think I ordered like. Maybe Souls. five or six things that night. Yeah, you did. I think I was right. Like, I was high as fuck. I was high. I went the garlic over. wings. I went the teriyaki. I went the regular <laughs> wings. I, <laughs> I <laughs> went the fish. Then I had the fish. I, <laughs> <laughs> he literally got the homemade. I ain't gonna tell you though. Two people left 
food in my fridge, and I just want to say thank you, whoever did this. Shit. <laughs> all I, I know ate is all my shit, and I was seafood salad shit. in my little commercial. I made yes. Wait, what else you had? You had banana pudding or something, right? We had banana pudding. Yeah, I had that too. Pasta salad, macaroni and tuna. That's what I had. That was good. Yeah, I think that was it. I can't eat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of salad. That was fun that night. Yeah, we had we had a wonderful time. But T, why don't you just tell everybody you know how you got into you know even owning your own convenience store? Uh, I know that's 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 Mm -hmm. major. And T, T gets love up there, like. They yeah. they respect it. It's there. good. Like they they respect they respect you up in there, and that's we good. We just celebrated that. a year with our um, convenience store, right? Um, but catering, so we came from catering, so it's catering, event styling, and rentals. And from catering, we was looking for an event space, somewhere to have your baby showers, <sighs> your you know what is to host a podcast, everything. And from there, we seen the space, but it didn't have a kitchen. So next door to the building, it was an empty space. So I'm like, oh well, this would be good, but not for an event space. It's not big enough. So we're like, what can we do with this space? So I'm thinking, do this, do this, do that. So I'm like, this community has no convenience store. So I'm like, everybody growing up, what you want? A convenience store. You got to go somewhere to get your chips. Mm -hmm. You got to go play your mom lottery. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your grandma new ports. Mm -hmm. You got to have that little store where it could be like convenient for you to go to. You run out of toilet tissue, run down the street. So that's what we did. We just, me and my mom, we just was like, let's do a convenience store. And whatever I tell my mom, she was like, all right, come on, let's go. So I'm like, let's do a convenience store. And she was like, let's go. We got in there, tore stuff down, build stuff up. Mm. My girlfriends, they all coupon. They got me all these all these diapers, laundry detergent, you know, everything. And then we just went from there. Dang. And then, of course, you know, we got the food in there because we come from catering. Mm-hmm. So we could cook in there, get your um, all your salads, your seafood salads yeah. and all that. And then we send it to everyday menu for the um, chicken and waffles, you know. Um, and it. Funnel cake fries. Ooh. That's every day. That's every day. Oh, okay. Yep. So you could come in and just order something like you can in a oh, yeah. like yep. in the yeah. pop yep. store or something mm-hmm. like that. Okay. Yep. okay. Yeah. And then we got the lottery, which was a pain in the neck to get, but we got oh, it. Yes. It was real hard to get the lottery. They don't want you to get the lottery. Because the bottom line is you holding sixty thousand dollars of somebody else's money. You know, mm. so they like we like if you don't give us this money back, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have money to get that, basically, mm-hmm. in a nutshell. So we finally got that, went through all the clearances to get that, and then got the lottery. Because if you notice, um, I'm going to be honest, it's hard when you're here trying to get stuff. They don't want to give you nothing. Y'all get me? Yeah. So when other people come over here, poppy yeah. stores, they're oh, giving yeah. them stuff. You know what right. I mean? They're yeah. establishing that stuff for them. Right. Yeah. If y'all notice, next time, poppy stores are always on the corner. Yep. Right. And they're always in a unit house setting. Mm-hmm. Upstairs. Yeah. Downstairs. Mm-hmm. Every last one. And Chinese stores. Yeah. They're giving to them. That's why they're giving to them like this as far as shelter. So y'all got your jobs, y'all mm-hmm. got your business, and y'all got your shelter upstairs. Boom, one stop shop. As far as us, we gotta look for it. We gotta yeah. do it all on our own. They don't give us no kind of grants. They don't give mm-hmm. us this. So it's like they're giving them all this stuff so lottery and stuff is easy to get. Like, I don't, to be honest with you, 100%, I don't know not one black-owned convenience store with the lottery. Think yeah, about not it. not anymore. I only knew one. That I was years ago. I don't even know a lot of black-owned convenience stores. Right, I know, right? They, but, like, when they have them, they're usually taken because every Tuesday they go in your, they go in your account and they're getting their money. Mm-hmm. They want their money. If it ain't there three times, that's it. They come lottery take the machine? Take, come take everything. What, 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 wait, say that again? Because it's you like believe? you stealing it, right? If you it's sold, not even stealing. But if, that, you sold, if you sold a certain amount of tickets, that money should be there, right? That's their money, not mine, yeah. Oh, so, well, Because, like, we have a, in our in the bar we work at, we have, like, the lottery machine, you mm-hmm. know? Which I'm the like, tickets. No, they, they play, they play, it's like a. The one where you touch screen, like yeah, the one that's in the Is that different? Now? What is no, that? No, it's the same. It's uh, the same. But it's not touch, like, you playing, like, something, and then if you win, we got to pay you out of our drawer. Right. So, oh, but it's not an instant one, though. No, 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 no. Yeah, not an instant. So one. you yeah. do you do the one where you have to pull the tickets, right? Because I or you no, load she, them into a machine. Load them no, she load them into a machine. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you they machine. still you still have to do all of that with that. Like I thought that. So is it you want it in your store to get people to come in for that and to buy other stuff? Then yeah, that's the a, best it's part. A, it's an eye catcher. For one, you okay. get a percentage of every win. Uh, so you. it's gotcha. like right. free money. You know, right. you get a percentage if um the person win. You get a percentage if they buy the ticket. From the door that's free okay. money. So if you win um, a jackpot, mm-hmm. you know, the uh, Mega Million, whatever, right. 
that store that you get it from gets a percentage of your winnings. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they break it down before taxes, after taxes. I don't right. know, but you get a percentage of that winning. So let's just say if you go into Acme and you know right. you win, Acme gets that. Not my little store, right. 10 Company Convenience, the ones who need it, but the Acme's get it, the Walmart's get it, the Wawa's get it. They, what you, you mean think they, they get, get all it. the big what tickets? What you mean they get it? They, they get, get a get percentage it. of so your winnings. So basically, now I see why you promote the lottery so much. Yes. Right. So you're like, if you do lottery, come here because I get yes. whatever you do. Yes. Now I know the next time oh, I'm okay. near where that is, I will buy tickets from you. I, 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 I hate it around there all the time. Yeah. You get the scratch the scratch ones? Yeah. 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 Because some of them got jack- million dollar numbers. jackpots. Yeah, million dollar yeah. jackpots, your daily numbers, your cash um, cash play, all that. Yeah. All right, so oh, okay. are you getting a lot of foot traffic with the, with the lottery? Yeah. Got, Hell yeah. People play. I got one man who played 50 numbers, same oh numbers, since I got the lottery. Mm. You know, in his mind, them numbers are going to win one day, and when they do, boom, I, I got it. You know, because they say, like, you got to be persistent with it. Yeah. And once you play that number, you can't stop. Because as soon as you stop, it's yeah. going to come out. That's, some, that's some, what they say. Some guy. No that's why I played it. Yeah. When I played the Mega Million or the uh, Powerball, mm-hmm. if I play, I play. Even if I get a quick pick, I have to play the same numbers that I play in addition to that. Yeah. Because yeah. in my mind, I swear to goodness, if it happened, I'm going to be so pissed off. But that's only if I, I don't play it all the time. But mm-hmm. when I do, I have to play that specific number mm-hmm. and a quick pick. I, I do that. Like, like, the lottery is so scary to me. Like, I'm not a gambling person. Mm-hmm. In my brain, I'm giving you money that I might lose. It don't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. And I feel right. like the lottery is even harder. Like, well, the big that's, numbers. That's the, that's the gamble. But that's the gamble. Yeah. But at the, the end of the day, you got to play to win. So don't right. say, yeah. oh, I wish I could win the lottery. You can't because yeah. you ain't black. Just like what mm-hmm. you just said, you got to play the same numbers. This dude just recently, like I, I want to say maybe a month ago, he been playing the same numbers for thirty years, Damn. and he just hit, hit, and he just hit like a month ago. But he hit big though. He See? played like a, a mega million or something. Puerto Rican or old Mexican guy. He been playing it for thirty years 30 straight, years. and he oh, finally he hit. He loyal, but he hit big. It wasn't no regular hundred thousand. He hit. Right. Do he play twice a week every week? Like I don't know, but he made the news, and, <laughs> and he said he played that same number for thirty years. Look at mm-hmm. that. And yeah, that's good. He came How out. How do you decide your number? Now? Like, is it a birthday? Well, I, I use diff- most of the time. I use birthdays, but. Do the first the like do what's the date the first time you ever had a threesome use that date. <laughs> I don't know. Luckily, no, that's why you ain't gonna win because it probably be that day. You never fucking even know. when like, I gamble, I play the same. <laughs> like I mean, <laughs> like roulette. <laughs> when I play oh, roulette, okay. I play I love the roulette. same. I love same roulette. Same. I don't yeah. know. How I play blackjack. I, I'll be scared. I'm, see, I'm scared of stuff like that because I you got to pay attention too much. You don't have to do nothing with roulette or when you. When you doing all that, you see your eyes of winning in blackjack is high. I know, I know. Hell yeah! yeah. I mean, once I if I go past a hundred dollars and I ain't win, I'm probably gonna be gonna dying quit. inside. Okay. I bet more than no. hundred. I couldn't go with that. Yes. I only because I know I, what the return is going to be. Right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you, the return you, is yeah, crazy. Yeah, you so gotta like, you gotta spend big to win big. I, I only do that so. if I win a lot. Then I don't mind win. paying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if it's just my a hundred dollars, it's like I'm gonna spend. If once it get past sixty, I start getting. If I ain't win yet, I'll be like, wait a minute. I do. You know when you get on them bus trips too? No, we get that bus trip to Atlantic City. They give you a thirty five dollar coupon. Oh, voucher Jones. Yeah, the voucher. I'll do that. And if I lose it, it I'm done. Oh, you that's losing it. that right <laughs> yeah. off the bat. I you lose thirty five dollars on one. Yeah, one yeah. that's how I won. Like, 50, I lost fifty dollars in roulette on one spin. Yeah. Oh yeah, it'd be like, like that. two uh-huh. seconds. It was like, yeah, it'd be like that. <laughs> that took Just off. gotta keep going. Like, damn, but you, get the, I sometimes be like twenty seven to one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why, I like, I will bet a whole hand, ten, fifteen dollars. You I know, like I'm spreading it out. Thing. That's why I, That's why I, I play the same numbers. I love roulette. I really do the guessing. I, I, love, like, I, love, I love I'd rather roulette, like try to man. like compete and you know know that yeah. all right, if I got this, they got this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. like when you I'm want scared. to strategy on your own. Yeah. I'm going to try to play blackjack one time at least because yeah. I'd be scared. I'd be like, Ooh, I mean, like I'll like, play cards. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I play poker. I think roulette, is, it's a poker. thrill. It's a thrill of roulette though. Like you just guessing, mm-hmm. you you putting money on a certain, you putting money on your favorite number, right? Especially when the you know double saying, zeros right? hit. Yeah, you, I don't have a favorite woo. number. You don't. Neither do I. I do. You ever I meet somebody and they all have like 
They want to ask you what's your favorite color. I don't have a favorite fucking color. I don't really need them. Damn. I have a favorite number. Do you say it like that, a, though? Do you say I, it angry <laughs> like that? Like, yes. I'm like, I don't got no favorite. Like, do you go on the first day like, what's your favorite color? Like, no. Don't, I don't know. I don't think I would ask you what's your favorite color. I'll probably ask you what. Favorite but, food. No. So how do you find out what's somebody's favorite, favorite color? What you like to, like, what's, what's the favorite color that you like to wear or something like that? You'll like, notice if you if you are a guy that pay attention, you'll notice I wear black. Black, time. yeah. So that's so that's, your favorite, so that's your favorite color, motherfucker. No, it's not. It's slim, <laughs> man, it's your favorite What's color. Your, do you, so you don't have a favorite color at all. I really don't know. I like tones of like earth tones, yeah, but like I neutral, wear a lot of black and neutral, yeah, 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 too. But, but then yeah. you know me, I like a little space. I don't have a favorite color. So if I had to say like it was my favorite color, I would just say that. Black. But I no, I would just say like. Neutral earth tones, or something oh. like right. that. Because, natural but I wear a lot. I, I like some pop of so color. So you don't got a favorite color, Neva? I just natural. What? Mm. I do oh. like gold. I like gold, gold and tan, tan and cream. <laughs> okay, all right. So yeah. there we go. Yeah, yeah, like, neutral like colors. Yeah, it's like neutral. <laughs> so <laughs> how are you managing the store and doing your catering in your events? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I have a team. You need a team. Yo. I got a team. <laughs> But it's like when you are in it, you want to be in everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like my mom, like, she 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 do what I do, but can't do what I do. And I do what she do, but I can't do what she do. Like, for instance, she do balloons. I don't go nowhere near balloons. Okay, okay. She do all the treats. I couldn't tell you nothing about no candy apple, about okay. no, you know, cupcake, none of that. Um, as far as the store, she runs, she pays all the bills. Okay. I got my own bills at home, so it's frustrating with that enough. Um, but I deal with the whole the septic keys. I deal with the the lot You do that too. Yeah, we do everything. Dang. Oh y'all. Are you right there by the train? Where the Big train business. is right by the train station, y'all. So, so literally that little shop shop. shop. And the, I also um, think it's a, it's like a whole row. So and they got businesses. So are you in the one with the, where the parking lot is or across from Across the street. Okay. Yeah, that's right. that's where the gym is at. Okay. The gym is over there. I need to, okay. and one of my girlfriend, she lives in Crystal Heights, and she was at the game, and I told them about your spot. They was like, they was all hyped, like, yeah, there's nothing it's around right there. there. Mm-hmm. They got soul food yeah. on, the, on the whim without you. I don't uh-huh. know if somebody really got soul food at all. Nobody. Nothing, nothing out there. Nothing. Right. You got to so, um, And that's why we kills it every week, because it's like. If you want soul food, you got to go to Chester. You got to yeah. go to Philly. Oh, West Philly. Yeah. 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 You know, Ain't no it's, telling it's you won't come out right alive there. in Chester. And are you doing DoorDash? Yup, DoorDash, oh, Uber geez. Eats. Ooh, we got to handle everything. No, not Is yet. It okay. But it's something new that came out, too. I got a notice the other day. It's something, um, something nets or something but it's new it just came out the other day well i just got a notice the other day but we do doordash grub i know y'all did that yeah oh, for real? I where you be at when i be posting it i ain't never yeah. here I, I y'all most of the time i when i if i notice it it's, it's you doing the lottery so. yeah okay that's what yeah. i see okay. the lottery soul food, well, I, didn't or, soul food. I do see food. but i don't hear you say i ain't never know you did that i live too far much i have to start Posting our convenience items more, our tobacco products, you know, yeah. our um, diapers, our lotion, right, our deodorant. Right. I got to start posting that stuff more. I'm so used to posting our lottery, our set mm-hmm. the key cards, our Uber Eats, the food. You know, it's like so much to post. It just gets draining sometimes. Yeah. But how I'm managing it, I don't even, I can't even, God. Mm-hmm. That's how I answer that. <laughs> I, I, I believe it. Because it be like, my mind just be everywhere. It be so much. Right, and then especially if you got an event coming up, I'm just like, she got to... If I was to tell you what I did, all I did before I came here, you'd be like, how? That don't even make sense. Right. Like, uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. How many hours but, of sleep you get? Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, you be up late. What time yeah. the store open? Nine. Okay. Nine, nine in the morning. S- nine or what, seven? Nine to seven. And then on Saturday, nine to eight. Oh, cool right. Sunday. You sell like, cause I was gonna say you do you get those you people going to school or something like that. Yeah, all the other kids. Little... But look, I started opening at six in the morning, and I was just killing myself. Okay. I was trying to get the school crowd, but I'm like, when kids late from school, then y'all could just come see me. <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> I was draining myself. No. The kids kill the poppy store. It's never every time yeah. I go to the poppy store, they go pop. Uh-huh. Ain't nothing in there. Uh huh. Yeah. They, yeah. keep, they, they do. spend their allowance in that they, book. They, these Listen. parents are giving their kids at least, at least $5 a day mm-hmm. for bullshit ass snacks because they're not getting mm-hmm. meals. they eating five bags of hot Cheetos mm-hmm. and their sugar drinks and Takis. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's another thing. My day sodas, uh-huh. they be like, day sodas? This, where y'all get these from? Like, they don't know I'm, about day sodas up there? At all. That's wow. why I'm like, we grew up on this. So I'm what? killing it out there. With, Most of know, the people. Things like that. Right. 
because a lot of people who because it's in Morton, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people who live there, I know, used to live in Philly probably at some point. But it's a lot of people that would just grow up in that city, that little town, and stayed there forever. Mm-hmm. So they probably are like. But right. did they, well, did the town is like? Was you already living over there? When never heard of a Morton. I was looking <laughs> for another <laughs> space, and I seen so a you, pizza you shop. Just, to me. So you went into their town and just said took over. Right, but I Need love no them. Brown I, I love the community. Like, community how did, I'm in. Did they, the community, they accepted like, us. Okay. But one, we're the only black owned business on that whole strip. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they accepted us. Um, you know, I, I love that community. I love it from the youngest to the oldest. It's it's so homey there. You know, it's uh-huh. really homey. And then you got the outsiders coming in from Chester, from Philly, to come and support us on a continued basis because we're you know who we are. But I love that community. I'm so grateful for that community. That's, I was going to ask you like, because. You know, people gonna be like, you know, especially when it's small, small communities like they're yeah, like, who this who, newcomer? Who is this? Right. Like, what is she about? But yeah, some people might be hating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give everybody your social media information, Instagram. You on Facebook? No. Well, we on Facebook, but I don't check it. My mom check it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so right. I bring something to check it. She it's that. too much. Yeah, she handled the, the, the Facebook account. It's too confusing. It's, I'm still learning on Instagram, believe it or not, because of my 19 year old daughter. But <laughs> the, uh, all right, so my Instagram is T E E and A N D Company Catering. That's for the catering. That's for your event styling, your rentals, your balloons, your sweet treats, your all of that. And Y'all the do um, edibles. No, we don't do oh. edibles. I'll leave that for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our um, convenience store is T E E and A N D Company Convenience Store. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Make sure y'all check T out. We're going to take a quick break. She's staying here for the entire show. We'll be right back. Us as a podcast, World Ice Radio. And we're back. Good day, everyone. It's now Hi. time for Juan Says. Say it, Kyra. Juan Says. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. That's horrible. And my so. voice is extra done. She's going to say it's always like this, but it's extra <laughs> Yo, you say that every fucking week Yo, about your does. voice, dog. Like, I feel your it, yeah, voice is the same every. Yeah. <laughs> I like it though. You ain't been I whispers like in, in a couple years now. It was whispers one time. One time. You really couldn't talk <laughs> at was all. He was just like, I was like, watch it, back. watch it, do it, Valley. <laughs> <laughs> so, T, do you know? I mean, I don't. You, you know how we? You know, you since you're the guest today. I'm going to read the letter, and then you give your response first, and then we'll keep going from okay. there, okay? All right. I hope this is a good letter. I am the middle child of five. Nope. I already know it's fucked up. <laughs> I already know it's fucked up letter. It's real short, too. Oh, for real? Yes. Oh, yeah. I am the middle child the of five. I have a three-year-old son. I tied my tubes last December, and when I tell people this, they say I have left my son alone in the world. I am one of five, and I'm alone in this world. I made. See, why you have to laugh, Kyra? Damn. I, was, <laughs> I am one of five, and I and I'm alone in this world. I made the conscious decision to have a child I can afford emotionally and financially, all while preparing him for his future. Why is this so frowned upon? Help me understand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm <laughs> fucking confused. No, I'm even more confused. Let me see if your reason is why I'm lying. <laughs> no, wait, number one, wait, can you read this shit again? No, no I know what you want to say, Slam. Number two, how old? Did she say how old she was? No. The bitch is lying. Well, first of all, she, she is lying. Already? She's she lying because you can't get your tubes tied. Unless you had a uh, a certain age and you had a certain child, amount of babies, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, you yeah, unless you had a hysterectomy. She one. How do you know that? Because I be knowing <laughs> shit. Because she he tried That's to get right. somebody to side. They was like, <laughs> no. I can't. She was, no, I ain't, ain't trying to get on my shit. I ain't trying to get on my shit. But she I lying. But no, look, she is a liar because. <laughs> Thank you. She lying. Do y'all want me to read it again? Because no, because how are you the middle child of five? Oh well, I mean, yeah, she's the third child. The third, child. Time I checked. No, she's the the third middle, number one. Oh, so I'm lying? Oh, you know I'm lying. Wait, <laughs> she's still a liar. But go ahead, say like, no, she's no liar. You hold it. So <laughs> she she has a three year old son. That's what happened. And she tied her tubes after she had him sometime. She's lying. Yeah, she didn't. She says she tied her tubes uh, last December. So. She, that is weird. Like, how do you it's go not weird in? That you can't do it. If yeah, you have you can't one go child, in and do it, right? it's, like just like if you had two boys, you can't do it until you had that third child, whether it's a boy or a girl. Then you can tie your tubes, but you can't tie your your, your, your tubes with one child or two children of the same sex. Really? Yeah. I didn't know unless that. You, that unless was, you have a hysterectomy, like right. problems with your um, what you call it? You're making that up. Like, no, seriously. I'm 
I, I didn't I know fact checker. I didn't know that was still a thing. Well, Laura, Laura, Laura fact checking it right now. I didn't already, know that was still a thing. I already I know it. I already know it. I know back in the day it used to be like they won't let you. T- but I mean, like, you. can you? Why would you not let me to no. tie my tubes? Like it's my damn no, you body. Can't. No. Right, so and I especially if, and if you marry. Yeah. All right. So what's the question? I don't forget. Yeah, what the fuck question is? What's the why is? Why is tying your tubes so frowned upon? Well, if you yeah. really tied your tubes, we could tell you, motherfucker, well, but no, you didn't. I thought that her question liar. was, why is having one child and not being able to get yeah, my child pre- that's what the, Yeah, that's pretty much the same yeah. thing. Why do they, because she said that since she did that, everybody is saying that she's leaving her son alone to uh, not have other siblings. Because So it's her so being selfish, I guess. My question is, to us. Do we feel like what she did with Pretty them? much, yeah. I can't even, with them. I can't give her correct answer because she's lying. lying. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I, I'm sticking with him. She I, I, really is. She is Unless no. she had a hysterectomy and didn't tell us. She ain't had no hysterectomy. She so do you, or do you guys think that you shouldn't get your tubes tied? Or you should, I mean, before they allow you to, you should be able to do it whenever you I want. I mean, if that was the so, case, I mean, a lot of people, a lot, if, if it was that easy, a lot of people would get their tubes tied after one kid. I think so. A so lot absolutely. of people would. Like, you, you don't want another kid, do you? Why your tubes ain't tied? Because I can't afford it. Oh. Get, oh they, I don't think they charge you extra. For, uh, you know, that's Unless so she had to have a hysterectomy. Oh, no, but you yeah. know what? In the then whole time will cover it. of me thinking of people having their tubes tied right after they give birth, I'm not even thinking about the fact that they would charge you for that. I'm thinking like they right. could just do that while they... That's a whole other operation. <laughs> right. Yeah, they <laughs> you know, After they had a child. Yeah, mm-hmm. like while right. they're... After one child? After No, just after they've given birth. They, they do it while they're... Morning. Before they come home. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so I never... do you think that... It's selfish for her to say, I only want one child, and I'm going to stop my body from having more. No, it's not right. selfish. Now, here's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that if you don't have the financial stability to continue to have babies, don't. Why? Because now you're relying on an outside source, mm-hmm. which is taxpayers. Y'all know what I'm saying. Right. Right. So if you don't have it, don't do it. It's okay. If your child, teach them social skills. They'll make friends. <laughs> you know, in school, they'll make them at camp. They'll make them at choir practice, wherever they will make friends. So I don't think that it's selfish for her. It's your body. Do what you want to do. Your child will be able to maneuver. And if you can't afford it, don't go have four and five kids. She she said that she made the conscious decision to have a child Mm -hmm. that she can afford emotionally and financially all while preparing for him. It's a lot to raise a child. And she's a single parent. It's a lot. And you're saying, yeah, don't bring all these babies into the world. But my thing also, I feel like it's an issue. Well, not even an issue. Is she said she's financially like right right now she's not. What about two three years later? Now you are because if you're just saying the only reason why like for me to my reason for not having a child is not because of money. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If that's your only reason, yeah. what if your life changes and now you didn't stop your body from what having if children? You, what if you rich? Or what do you now you like I yeah. feel like she cut it off so soon. Can't, isn't that a reversible uh, procedure? Yeah. It, but it doesn't seem like it's healthy. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't think, think it's healthy. And it, it, it costs it costs a lot of I, money. Here's my answer. I don't think people should judge you, but I do feel like it's a little bit and I'm totally about having one child. Mm-hmm. I ain't having no more. Right. At all. If you get married, <laughs> you ain't gonna have another kid. Come on. I Wasn't do, we just talking about we, this? I do not I told y'all this. I try to be men with kids. On the day of that, do you have kids? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you, you date no, people with kids? Church? Yes. The man in your dreams going to not have a kid. Well, I won't meet him. So, there will be a, my man in other dreams. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the dream. Because I don't want no more kids. I'd right. rather have a blended family. I a, You is, want a blended family? Uh, She's only 11, my G. Right. You scared so, to start over? Yes. Ugh. I don't want her to be going to college and now this one just fucking putting blocks together. No. But no way. I got a 19 year old and a six year old and Jeez, an eight year old. So I started 10 years over. Yeah. yeah see, yeah, my daughter is done high school. She's been out of high school for two years and I'm sitting down doing homework, like right. fractions that I don't even remember. It's bad. But yeah. yeah. My son so be I like, you can't okay help me with this. Over. My teacher said, you don't know how. You <laughs> got that, you know, that, that partner. But Yo, if I started like, over with a baby father, then I wouldn't see. And that's and that's another fear of mine. See, There's so many things that started really, really good. We was doing <laughs> solid six mm. years. We had his baby after I'm right. almost done. Damn, this is so you, good. It's like you interrupt my whole life. Listen. For mm. you to turn out to be a fuck boy, because you can meet a man, and we said this, mm-hmm. meet a man, fuck him one, two times, and have his kid, he might be the best father. Because it's like rolling dice. You don't know what you're going to get. 
Right. Or I can meet a man on his ass for fucking 10 years, four years. And okay. Then he turn into. And he's almost some bullshit when a baby get involved. Yep. Right. You know, but and we, that's a whole Yeah, I know question. that's crazy. Yeah. But <laughs> I just feel like for me, it's just not, it's not, in my, it's not in my story. I don't think it's in my story of life. To get the two top? No. To have no. another kid. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I would get my two top actually. Am I old enough? Can uh-huh. I do it? Because I'm. Yeah, well, you like, can't. You're not no, you can't candidate. do it. You're I can't, can't believe that they put I'm a time limit on. Juan is a candidate because she. What up about here. how many you got? No, I mean oh. age. I mean, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lauren, did you fact check that? Was it true? Was it true? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Sex. Told you. Yep. And your husband must yeah. agree. No, yes, see, sir. They said, no, so wait, let me just repeat, reiterate that. Son or daughter. Because sometimes you can't hear what they're saying in the background. And one daughter. Yeah. So it's, you Girl, have to be I'm at least right. 25. Yes. yes. T already yes. mentioned the part yes. about the, the same, the opposite sex uh-huh. kids. Say no. Yeah. Ain't that something? Girl, you can go to Cape Bolia. And the reason is because there are so many risks that Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's risky. Okay. So with that being said, this is why you saying she lying. That's why she yeah. lying. It's no way Shorty she's lying. She ain't say how old she but she probably is at least twenty five. So she now, might be twenty three. The way right, she talking. So, but men can go and get a vasectomy whenever they want. Yep. So oh, wow, I'm taking your ass to So they don't have to have <laughs> no kids. Damn. Uh-huh. I think, I mean, I don't have a problem with people getting there too. I don't, whatever you want to do with your body is what That's you want to do. Said. I don't care mm-hmm. how many kids you have. I mean, as long as it's not affecting me, you know, with the kids thing. But, um, but it does affect you ultimately. Yeah, when you got to pay the tax paying people, yeah. you know, all that stuff. That's, I mean, so I mean, I, but I really, in all actuality, don't care. But, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I don't really necessarily think it's selfish either. I think that you should be able to just, if, if you feel like you only want one child, then mm-hmm. let me tie my tubes. Like, how do you make that decision for me? It's, this is what I want to do with my future. You don't have to take care of these kids or not. So, right. I mean, I guess if, I, if it right. was, I mean, but you're trying to prevent yourself from having more kids, so that should right. be good. But that's probably the doctors that are like pro um life and stuff yeah. like that who are like oh, you can't do this with uh, right, right. trying to stop you from having kids let me naturally. ask a question right. um if a guy has a vas- what's it called Vasect- vasectomy right. when he comes what, what don't nothing come it's out just or? white come no, in clear it, it still comes like, out I'm just uh, <laughs> it come out like juice <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it'll be like, like it comes out, but it doesn't go all the way up. It, it, won't, it can't swim. It's drowning. Oh, the niggas Imagine can't swim. Drowning. Yeah, it don't go all the way up. Like, so he literally drowning in the pussy. Literally, oh, literally. <laughs> save me. Why? Why would you do that first? Oh, they be going the other way. So you, that's when you, you might when you come instead of feeling released, you feel clogged. It's like no. <laughs> Well, I ain't getting no second me, bro. Just, That's that, huh? <laughs> That's supposed to be so that easy, shit. such an easy procedure, and most dudes don't want to do that. For what? I don't think I know any man that's done that. <laughs> might, I'm not getting snipped. All it is is a little tiny incision in it. Right, and that's it. And that's and it. ours is so much more. Right. Yeah, I don't. What? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is crying. You crying because she's acting like a sperm? <laughs> 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 you did do oh a little God. sperm swim. Like, damn. She and said it is they funny. drowning. That's what made me think of it. She definitely said they were drowning. I, I just wanted to know, like, what happens when he come? Mm. It just don't go all the way up. So, but, Sorry, Sugarfoot, but apparently sorry, you're lying liar. and we can't help you. From Burke Street. She sound like she's from Burke, Burke Street. Street. 32nd and Burks. I know that's where she's from. <laughs> Talking that bullshit. <laughs> Child of five. Second of births. <laughs> she said, "I hope I'll never see a person with one child come out of a house on this Burke Street." Because I'm like, gonna die laughing. Like, <laughs> how you coming in the middle, right. bitch? <laughs> who are you coming in the middle at? Because like you, like who are you coming in the middle at though? If if you, if it was three oh, kids, no. we know who in the middle. <laughs> For sure. If it's three, we know when the middle. You got the baby, you got the oldest, and then you got me. There, there we go. Now, five kids, you got two oldest, two babies, 
You in the middle. And one in one <laughs> could be in the middle. He could be. He could be. He could be. Depending on the age. Depending on the age. Yes. No. If I do what if, one, what if they, two, what if two three, are, what if three four, are the same age? Five. What if three are the same no, age? My babies are <laughs> one. Oh, so what the middle? Yeah, when they because you if you have triplets, then who the fuck is middle? Change the question. I'm yeah, just you saying, go. though, that's, you got to have that yeah. in. If it's five kids, you can have a fucking triplet and two regular jabronis. Mm-hmm. Who is the fucking middle kid? <laughs> the middle kid is the one that came out second. <laughs> no, all three of them came the out. Middle, yeah, um, no, the middle kid would be the one that came out last. No. Yeah, if you had triplets and you had triplets the last and two one is, regular the jabronis. Last one is the oh, middle. Right, yeah. If you had triplets and two regular jabronis, the, the, the youngest triplet is the middle child. Okay. No. Right. Yeah, I'm not good at geometry, so I don't know geometry, how, okay. how y'all doing this. <laughs> I'm still working on fractures with the kids. <laughs> oh, but how y'all doing this math? But hey, I mean, <laughs> no, adding up. Bottom line, shit, is, I'm, that's all I'm not to say. Up. This shit is not adding up. She said the last should be the first. I'm like, is this the Bible? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? In the end, there shall be one, right, according okay. to this person. Right. So yeah, well, that's our boy. I, I, I gave you my answer already. Yeah. Okay, so this yeah, we have a liar. Thirty second the Burks. Yeah, I don't think she's selfish though. She's not selfish. Yeah, she ain't selfish though. She's smart. Uh, yeah, you are. She know what she can afford. Do you she could. Yeah. I guess she may <laughs> 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 I'll give myself together. Me too, me too. All right, why well, you didn't see the sign to wrap it up, so I'm gonna tell you. Oh. Yeah, she you gotta Yeah, be, I mean you, you usually got, Well uh, no, you gotta be conscious of it because like when it's your <laughs> segment, you gotta look out the corner of your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren did this six minutes ago. I'm yeah, like, oh, you bad. didn't see that? My G? I didn't see her do that. I don't think I did. No, I you did. didn't. Because you kept talking. Don't do it. Because you kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> kept talking like you're doing now. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Oh, sh- <laughs> Hi, guys. We're back. Let me know. I got myself together. Eyes are really- you got something good? I got something which is relevant to me, I guess. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Was that? Did she t- did she send that to us? Because you asked us what I did. I don't remember seeing oh, you. Ex- yeah. yeah. Stop asking all, us questions. All, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all on our top. We ain't even get your shit. Right. Because uh, I was about to say I don't remember. I don't your remember top. saying that <laughs> shit. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all good? Y'all good? Right. Yeah. Get a so, little, get a little sip. Who well, was on the show notes? Uh, Why? Uh, on on Lauren's show didn't notes. Get. <laughs> <laughs> that one on our show notes. Loyalty <laughs> and friendship. In the workplace. Whoa. Oh, that's deep. Does it exist? Mm. If it's real, what does it look like? What should it look like? Um, I'll get in this topic because um, I have a group of friends that I'm really close to at my job. I, I'm one of the people, I have a personality where I feel like every job I've had, I've got, gained a really close friend out of. And I think it's because you put them so much. Right. And my Gemini self is like, Whoever I'm with in those moments, I give so much to. So that's my focus. So my when I'm at work, my friends at work really become like really good friends. Um, and recently, within our job, a lot of us are leaders in our building. Mm-hmm. Um, one of us just got hired as a administrator, like a assistant principal. Okay. She major, you know what I'm saying? And then when you do that, you become in a position of power over your friends. Right. So we all was kind of more equal at one point. None of our roles intervene with each other. Um, but now when I supervise you, your work is a direct reflection of my work. Right. So if you have a friend and they're basically not doing their job but lying about it, and then you get caught. So the situation is the girl was at our job. She left our job over the summer. But her supervisor, who is our friend, you know, still has to handle her work. Come to find out in this new stu- school year, some of the stuff wasn't right. So the basically, my my girlfriend she stole money. No, nothing like that. But oh. just like paperwork is not right. right. Which is, oh, oh. the school system is money. If yeah. they, so, and it's, it says yeah, like if them IP papers ain't right, that's all legal money. The lawyers is at our door knocking all the time. They don't want the lawyers there. Basically, I'm about to lose my job because you fucked up whatever I was supposed to be supervising you over. So now my friend doesn't want to talk to the other girlfriend. Like she don't want no parts of her or nothing. And she shouldn't. Right. Yeah. I don't see no so yeah. no. do you agree that at the end of the day, if you work with somebody, you should respect their position by working to me your hardest, I feel like. Right. And if a, if somebody doesn't, do you think that's disrespectful to the person? 
Right. I think that the word friend is what seals all that. Mm-hmm. If you my friend, you don't want to see me fail. If you my friend, you want to do the work because you know that I can fail, you know, fall mm-hmm. because of it. If you're my friend, you gonna feel like when you win, I win. You know, so yeah. we still friends. Bottom line, just do your job. Do your job as if I was, you know, the authority or if so, I wasn't. Let me add one more piece. Part of her, the, my super, the, my girlfriend, the supervisor's job is to audit her stuff. And what I told her is, she ain't do her job. You didn't. Yeah, that's on her. You yeah. yeah. So that's my thing. Like you know, I think some people like yeah. you're counting on your friends just to do the right thing. Right. So you're telling her like, oh, it's not done, but I know you about to finish it without writing her yeah. ass up. See, she trusted her a little bit too much, and she right. shouldn't let that guard down because she. And knew I think it was that's where the trust in somebody is important. But you need to do your job first. Yeah, and what I tell all the time is nobody should be messing with my money. Mm-hmm. So that means if you my girlfriend, you're not doing your job right, I'm going to check you on yeah. it. And they used to always say, oh, you, my worker friend, she used to be like, oh, this is Dean, no, not, you know, Kyron, I'm like, oh, no, this is Kyron, mm-hmm. When I come to work, I'm the same person. But right. if I'm focused on doing my job, I'm not here to gossip about boys that we slept with over the weekend. Right. If I'm at my post, like, that's just talking right. about this. So they didn't yeah, like wait until later. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like when I'm at work, like I'm focused. I'm about right. this. You know what I mean? So they be like, "Oh, you not?" I'm like, oh, "My brain is on this right mm-hmm. now." Like, and you have a different kind of job too, where you yeah. you really got to be paying attention to what you're doing at your job. It's not like you're just somewhere hanging out mm-hmm. and y'all sitting next to each other in a cubicle yeah. or something like that, and where you have time to work and gossip at the same mm-hmm. time, or even if you can IM or something. I don't know, but yeah, I right. agree with what you said. Mm-hmm. I think that she should have done her job. On her end, too, because then it probably wouldn't have been, like, she wouldn't have found that out mm-hmm. later, and she wouldn't have to feel like she shouldn't speak to her. But at the same time, I think she's justified and not necessarily wanting to be her friend either because the reason why she didn't audit her mm-hmm. is because she right. trusted her Super to granted, do yeah. her job the way she was supposed to. Right. I mean, again, it's not granted, yeah. There could mm-hmm. definitely be loyalty and a true friendship in the workplace mm-hmm. if everybody is loyal Somebody and, loyal. and, and yeah. a friend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so... But I've definitely been in, not as deep as that, mm-hmm. but somebody who I was really good friends with at work, but her and somebody else decided to call out like something happened to the, in their family, mm-hmm. but they went away on a trip. Oh, wow. And it affected everybody else's work in that department. And I looked at her. So our friendship different. hasn't been really like, the same since then. Like, yeah, I'm not, you was going to still be at work. Right. Everybody is there. Like, I would... At least if you had told some people, we could have prepared for that. But because they did that, it messed up a lot of people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, so they did like a no, almost like the day of call out. Oh, that's some fucked up shit. Well, see, maybe too. Maybe your answer, the answer to that, so your question depends on whatever their job profession is. That yeah. might mean a lot too. As far oh no, as it definitely relationships in the workplace. What do you do for a living first? Yeah. Let me let me, yeah. let me ask you that. Yeah, so, it's yeah. a our, the jobs play a major role. Like they're on top of each other. Because me owning my own, it's hard with family. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. hard. You yeah. know, not only do every family member want a discount, but they all want to be hired as well. You know, right? They all want to be working my store. They all want to, you know, assist me when I have big catering jobs. They all want to, you know, come and help with the labor when I do tables. It's just, it's, yeah, it depends on, I think, what occupation. Because if right. I was to tell you some stories, you'd be like, oh, ain't none of your family loyal. Mm. You know, yeah. they all, none of them got your back, you know. Right. So I guess it depends. It, and I think, too, I feel like with me, I'm such a hard worker for myself. So mm. I judge people off of how their work ethic is. I know how hard I come in here. I know I got the same two feet as you do. Right. And if my roles are the same, I know that we about making the same. I might be making more because my performance is better. Mm-hmm. But somebody like to me, all the friendships that I formed with people was people that just had real great work ethic. Like I'm so attracted to that. And a Thank man. You. Thank you. <laughs> no, but like re- like really like. I don't know. I'm just attracted to it as a person because right. I'm like, you work how I work. You're yeah. not a lazy not person, lazy, yeah. and you don't complain. Like, you know, this is a situation, and we're gonna have a moment. But I like, I'm attracted to that in a human being, like a right. work ethic, somebody that has a hustle, a drive. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of lazy ass people. You see them, and that's why I hate handouts. Yeah, yeah. And that's like, I'm just, I be yeah. like, Mm-mm. and that's so if I, if you are a girlfriend of mine, and then I notice that you're not really doing the same shit, like I start to get turned off where I'm mm-hmm. not wanna wanna hang around you so much. Because I don't like that vibe. I don't. You want birds of a feather yeah. flock together. So. Yeah, yep. You want to be around. Some, you want to be around that same energy. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Cause that's the type of shit that puts you to another level. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, 
I feel you. Slap what you think. I think. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I feel like so, so much happened in the workplace. So, like you're gonna you're you're going to gain a friend mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Possibly a lover, you know what I'm saying. So a, a lot, lot of, of shit, relationships. I yeah, mean. a lot of stuff happened at the workplace. And guys, we do <clears> not <throat> fuck. Cause I know. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I got it. Cause you know they I knew it. They, I knew it. <laughs> right. That's guys, why he said that. That's why he was like a lot of stuff hey, <laughs> at the workplace. <laughs> Guys, uh, not us. You spend your most awakened uh, hours you with do. your coworkers. Right. You do. Mm-hmm. You do. You, you do. Yeah. And you know, certain some people get you know complacent with giving other people responsibilities, and mm-hmm. those are those are the type of things that happen. Like right. it, it, like like everybody said, you get lazy, you put your trust in the individual, and but you should always like always you know go back and check. Cause it's your job at the end of the right. day. Hello, it's your job. And at I, the end I had to tell my girl. I was. I saw what I said. It's on you. Right. right. I said, why would you not hold her accountable? Yeah. Right. Especially because this girl has a history of this, so this is not. Right. New. Oh, she has. You know why she figured this is my friend? She ain't gonna do this to me. That's why she did and, it. But that's why she, she trusted so her, her she too much. So her. And she should. She be. was like, and I, I want to talk to her when it happens. So I wasn't even at work to even know what was going on. So I came back and everybody was like, and then she left without doing the work. That's even worse. You like friend and you left. Yeah, that's 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 job quick. in the middle of the summer didn't even let her because yeah, she that's not cool. So she didn't give her. I said, what? I said she well, knew she fucked up too. That's why she left. She knew she fucked up. You know, I, I'm the one that got to do all this work after you leave. Like at least sit there and right. do it. Like listen, listen, I ain't get together. Come over here. So right. Right. Hey, I'm hey, giving my two weeks notice, but I'm gonna just do all the shit. No. Yeah, that's not cool. She so, is liable to whoop her ass when she see her. Hello. Like, when well, I tell you, my girl is that's her friend. Yeah. So we all like to be a group friends to hang out. So she like that one of our friends who's not there with us no more was like, you should. She's like, no. And I said, you don't owe that bitch shit. Nope. No, are you still friends with the other one? The one that. For me, that I'm like, I, I'm cool mm-hmm. on you. Mm-hmm. Like, because you know, you do the hurry, do the men. Right. Like, to me. Yeah. I, get, I can't. How I, can I trust you? That's that's your <laughs> job. You and know I was friends saying? with that. And, 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 and I'm not like, oh, I was friends with her first. But I, I've been friends with the other the one girl when I first got y'all. You knew. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't even know how you really got in the group. You snuck in. <laughs> she did. I was like, who this bitch I keep bringing out with us? Because when I go out, when you at work, right, and you hang out with your coworkers, everybody can't come. And that's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Because yeah, I don't and work the out. Pit, I want you to see what I'm right. doing. The few group of friends I have know. a personality where every, I had a little crew with me, my little white girlfriend, the little Asian girl, we all, and the, the guys, we would all hang out. Because we wanted to have fun. We mm-hmm. wanted to be a fun workplace. So everybody was like, oh, we going out with the summer you know, team, da, da, da. But, like, my supervisor tried to come out and said, no. <laughs> I had my one She was at game nights. I'm like, why is y'all letting? She's <laughs> my, she know my own supervisor, but oh, she my no. supervisor. Uh-huh. I'm oh, like, y'all no. so fucking hate it. Like I had my oh, supervisor no. in waiting to accept her friend request for two years oh, on Facebook. No. And the only reason why I accepted her was because the girl who I'm really cool with, she had become friends with her. I was like, now I said, now I'm gonna feel, now I look bad because I'm not friends with her. And she'd been waiting all this time. Two I was, years? She was like, she all right, she cool. I was like, the first time she say anything to me at that's work it. about my face, see, uh, that happens to me. That's gonna be uh-huh. it. So I was out, we was at a game night. It was co workers there, it was regular friends there. We high as shit, smoking on the porch, mm. chilling. She saw my, my boss at that point, saw two weeks later, we had more than me and we doing another day. And since it was one of the kids, I think brought some weed in. She made a comment about the like smoke. Wow. I love. It. I oh, said, no. "This is what <laughs> bitch uh-huh. can't come. Uh-huh. Like you can't do that. That's like, a no go." Some yeah. people you so, can, but because I had one of my but not my supervisor. Today, like, like she was my supervisor. Right. When I worked at this job for a very short amount of time, she was That's my supervisor <laughs> there. And I, when I used to introduce her to people, I'd be like, "This is my supervisor." <laughs> and she's mm-hmm. be like, "Stop telling people that." I'd be like, "No, uh-huh. let them my- know." On purpose, yes. <laughs> but she cooled us. I mean, I already knew before we went out that she was somebody who I could bring out. Because, you know, we found, once you established that, but this one that was two years on hold, mm-hmm. <laughs> she wasn't somebody who I be... I was like, not on my Instagram though. <laughs> back then. Oh, yeah. No, no. But now my Instagram is open, but back then it was not. I was like, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Not her. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, dog? <laughs> I don't think you like, finished the answer, though. You I did. I, I, yeah. Oh, okay. Bitch better have my money. <laughs> <laughs> but, was no, she even I, apologetic? She Probably wasn't really, not. I feel like she was, but I think it also, I don't like the people that don't take accountability. 
She's still oh. trying to say that she ain't fuck up. Bitch, you did. Oh, come you on. Ain't so, work. Yes. You ain't up. She yeah. said that? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like it's just... She's like you said, yeah. My whole dynamic yeah, no is friend. like, I don't really trust you from that. So if I don't trust you, I don't know how close I'm going to be like hanging right. out. Now, I'll keep mm. a cordial because I know how to keep a cordial, but that's why it's really hard to work for it. It's like, don't be fast to build friends. I think people see it, especially in the school, they see another black person, they think that we supposed to automatically be friends. Right. Bitch, I don't know you. Right. The fuck? I don't know what kind of black person you are in the workplace. You might be one of the black people that think that because you black, you ain't got to do shit. No. I don't want to be friends with nobody like that. I'm going to be black motherfuckers that think you ain't black. Uh, Bitch, you black. <laughs> black, black. I saying. don't know you. But that's what people, I hate that they're like, oh, there's a new black lady. They think they got to say hi to me all day. They come in there. So you work around Caucasians all day. And black is really, is really even. But some of them black teachers can't teach. Hmm, that's and the people be like, no, I just want a good teacher. But I don't want to, I don't want a teacher or overall good teacher. Race, gender, wise, like right, everything. Right, right. But I'm telling you, that's why I don't be assuming just because a black person in there that we got to be friends. Mm. No. We cord you. I'm going to speak, make you feel comfortable, but... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but no, yeah. I didn't. Oh, you saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard me. <laughs> you heard me? <laughs> Chill out together. Yo, where I work at, ain't no loyalty acceptor. None. Mm-hmm. If, at the jungle, you gotta get that fucking first Yo, spot, that first bid, whatever y'all call that shit. Ain't no loyalty acceptor at all. At all, niggas mm. is cut throats. What they be doing? Child. They be stealing other people's shifts. Stealing other people's people bitches. Wives. Oh, good. Oh, oh, no. Oh, dang. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, be like How that. you steal somebody white that work with you? It's, right. it's Scepter. I'm telling you. And what happened? He ain't kill him? Like, no, no. Mm. Them dudes I'm really sorry. be slimy in there. They're I like do, the I do think, though, I do think the most like, with infidelity comes in the workplace. Like, people, oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm so many people work-wise because I'm very friendly with them. If females knew how to cut hair like, like barbers, a lot of niggas would probably be fucking their barber, too. Absolutely. That's a female. That's a female. So, female listen, barber. I said female barber. I used to barber. want to be a barber. Came, so female barber. Absolutely. Because <laughs> our barber is... That whole statement. But I said female barber first. <laughs> I, 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 I had to say that shit three times. I said... It's female. Then I, then I said... I, you, no, no, no. I cleared that shit all the way up. You were supposed to say... What? People want to fuck their female boards in there. What is it? Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right. So, so y'all, we'll be right back. Go to break. I <laughs> Bartender. Oh, sorry. Oh, good job. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back. And we're back. Hey guys. And they try to set me up. <laughs> um, so I wanna I wanna vent and I'm about to get real serious right now. Alright, no I'm not. But um <laughs> <laughs> I'm like do 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 Oh no no but I mean I do he got will. some yeah I will. Um uh, so, whew, there's so much to talk about in Philly, but, you know, everybody is, the, the big uproar is that, uh, that cop who killed that, uh, black, black guy who's sitting in his house friend. eating Ben and Jerry's, I think it was Rocky Road. <laughs> was he? He <laughs> was, was eating was, ice cream. Was I Briars, thought he was asleep. Oh, Briars. Oh, yeah, Briars. I thought he was asleep. No, he, Bri- Briars ain't even out asleep. no more. You see how crazy the news is? You done yeah. got Ben and Jerry, I got Briars, and she got he was asleep. He, asleep. Yeah. I swore really? all the time until I heard somebody else That's talking even worse about if she killed a motherfucker that was asleep. Right. Yeah. That's even worse. Yeah. So, um, worse. see, they gave her a 10-year sentence, and, you know, everybody was like, yeah, 10 years, and I was just like... That's not enough. 10 mm-hmm. years is definitely not enough. So... She's probably only gonna do two years. Get good out of good, get I out think good behavior. Minimum five, right? Nah. She'd be up for parole. Nah, she's, she she ain't gonna do that whole five. I guarantee that. Unless she she's kill like herself. Black hair. She yeah, she. So I watched the interview today with two of the jurors. Oh, they showed themselves. White together. white guy, yep. the black girl. The black girl. I don't know where they found this dippy Shh. bitch from. And See? she had a frontal. That's what <sighs> I can <couldn't> understand. <laughs> she, she was like a bad frontal. She and I'm like, like, so I know you from the hood. <laughs> you know She's definitely from the hood. Yeah. So the original sentencing was 28 years. Mm. She said, I couldn't see myself giving her 28 years. She said, this situation is different mm-hmm. from when um, the white cops kill un- unarmed black men. Because mm-hmm. when they when they go to jail, I mean, they, they get back out. Or some shit she was saying like some that. stupid stuff. Who has went to jail for killing an unarmed black 
person. Mm. I don't know. I, I think they got one fired. person. He got fired. I don't think he no, got fired. No, they got fired and got rehired at a whole other police district. Which, mm-hmm. That's crazy. So she didn't even know what she was saying. That's number one. Number two, there's a big uproar about the brother wanting to forgive the killer. And, you know, I come I, I come from a Christian faith, so I understand what he said. Mm-hmm. You got to forgive. You, you have to forgive anyway in order to move on in life, right. period. I, I understand what he says, but everybody is not like that. And you just murdered my brother a whole year ago. So I'm not, I, my patients don't move that fast. Right. Mine's right. don't move that fast. I wouldn't have hugged an either. That's just me. You know, people yeah. say, oh, hey, let him hug. That's fine. He can do that. But I can't, I'm not there yet. Yeah. I'm not there yet. And he might, he might be in a certain faith where he can move expeditiously like that. Mm. I can't. Yeah. That's just not I me. I would have hugged that bitch in the headlock. Can There's I hug no him? way. I, yeah. You killing my brother and I'm hugging you. No. But I can everything was, about this cool. whole case, mm-hmm. the whole trial was was iffy to me. I've never seen a murderer get treated like the victim. I've never seen yeah. that. They was like it was crazy. Cold. Chrome her and hair stroking and her fucking yeah, hair. Yeah, rubbing her back. It's fucking and rubbing her hair. Why you got comb nation? And then I've never seen this in my life. A judge leave the stand, mm-hmm. give her her Bible and a hug, and she was mm-hmm. crying. Mm-hmm. I was so confused. Like, wait, why this bitch crying? You, you, was wasn't, you, you wasn't crying when she told, told you the story uh-huh. about her killing somebody that was in his own house. Mm-hmm. I'm lost that. Yeah. How you go into somebody else's so crib? So how she called the boyfriend first before calling nine one one? This is true. How and, she and didn't give CPR for eight? She couldn't give. This this is the thing, right? This is why I hate that they gave her only ten years. Mm-hmm. A real cop, a good cop. You let's say you did forget the, that you this this is where you thought you lived. Let's mm-hmm. say that I give you that, right? I give you that because you probably was drunk or whatever. And you shoot somebody, realize mm-hmm. you're you're in their house, right? As a police officer, you know you shot an innocent person. Mm-hmm. Not one time did she try to stop the bleed. No Make CPR, a turn kick. Nothing. Nope. nothing. And she's trying to do that. And mm-hmm. you're trained to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You call your boyfriend first. Yep. And then on a on a, vi- a body cam, she said, oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Exactly. That's what mm. I'm saying. It's too many things. Now, let there have been another police officer she yeah. shot by accident. <sighs> So, I wonder what they would have done. So the this is why we this is why we are appalled at the ten years mm-hmm. because not only did you shoot him, you didn't even try to save him. No, nope. you didn't That's even try I, to save the individual. Have Have any of you guys served on a jury before? I, I did. No, yeah. I answer wrong every time, so I wouldn't be. Have to go through that. Yeah, yeah. I did yeah. once. I tried now, to, but I can't never. Spell it is not going easy down. to yeah. decide somebody's fate mm-hmm. in, in a, as a juror, nah. right? But with the facts that they had from this case, I can't see. And they had the power to choose the sentence and mm-hmm. everything like that. The judge gave them the authorization to use whatever the name of the the law, uh, the law is for them to say that that she uh, was stand like the stand your ground law, mm-hmm. something similar to that. That shit, I don't even know how she put that out there because. I do. It is very easy for you to go to a different floor and think it's your apartment, but there were way too many things. The red doormat. That were, the red doormat. Yeah, yeah. The fact that your key didn't necessarily work in the yeah. door. The mm-hmm. fact when you and just like some people like when you come into your house if it's dark, you know where the light. Like you usually turn exactly. the light on because I don't even walk into my place where I put mm-hmm. my hand around the wall, lift the light up. Mm-hmm. By the time you notice you all of this that? stuff, yeah, it's not that big. It's like. Uh-huh. It's like it's not it's, it's not like a big thing. giant wall, yeah. but yeah, I know exactly where it is because why I live there. Yeah, right, there right, are right. way too many factors to me for me to have been like ten years is suitable for this person to spend in prison. I do not agree with that, mm-hmm. and we would not have deliberated for that little bit of time. We would right. have been in there for days because I would have stood firm on my point mm-hmm. and we would if anything would have been a hung jury or something which I would try to <sighs> if it's starting to get to that point I would try to make a decision but hopefully it would sway my way but I don't understand how you the jury the way it was yeah. made up even could just be like and I know you can't make the decision based on race or anything like that but on the facts on the evidence that, how that's could it. you do that even if it was a white man Y'all and then I mean like she it just doesn't I just don't understand it and the, as far as the um 
the 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 brother and and the and the father wanting to be her friend like I love understand you. the it's forgiveness I love you. but I am at no way Mm-mm. shape or form Mm-mm. do I feel like I need to hug you if, I can't unless hug I want to choke no more you because he's gone because mm. of you but I want to hug you exactly Mm-mm. no and they were she, speaking for me said I, what's his what was his name both, both, King? both of them both of them both of them was like he said both of them would want uh, he would want us to. Hug you and tell you, and we that's love what you. the the black girl said. She said, "I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. because how they was talking about him, yeah. he wouldn't want yeah, he me would, to he give wouldn't her want me to give her twenty years. Yeah, he would have gave in her. heaven like bitch. I wanted you to give <laughs> her life. <laughs> I'm watching my favorite TV show. He probably was watching Snowfall mm. or Power. Mm. <laughs> I'm backed up on Power too. And she fucking shot him. It's I ain't crazy. hugging nobody. I will tell you that right now. I ain't hugging you. A lady, the 2013. Was getting her ass whooped by her husband. Domestic abuse, whooping her ass all the time. In mm-hmm. Florida, in the stand your ground state, mm-hmm. she shot two warning shots. Yep. Oh, yeah. And she uh-huh. doing life, right? Yeah. She, well, no. She just, re- she, she, she's getting out soon. Oh, is it because of this? I I, I don't know <laughs> if it is, but I, I just read it. I read, I read that she's going to be getting out, I think, before Christmas or something like that. But how? Right. Right. And, 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 and this is on record. This yeah. is you. You. This ain't well, something. She, she was licensed to carry. And she was licensed to carry. Oh my goodness! No. None of that. Only oh, warning shot. Trevor Two warning Noah, shots. Trevor Noah had made a good point where he said that one of the things that was bothering him is that you would think that people would have the same compassion that they had for the people, the unarmed black people that mm-hmm. get shot or that do Ooh. things in this world. Period. Right, that they right. did for that officer. Right. And you know, like how she was, um, they, how they say when white women, a white woman's tears can get mm-hmm. them out of anything. Mm-hmm. Crocodile you know, like, tears. You cry, like it, you oh, do know. anything, and then you're just like, you yeah. know, oh, white I'm people sorry. got that shit mastered. No, they, do. they got it don't, that it don't shit make no, I do want to see Chelsea Handler's uh, white privilege documentary. I want to oh, see Oh, I didn't that. even know Who's that. Who's that? Already. Who's Chelsea? She's a comedian. She had yeah, a, she's a having show. show. But that's real. White mm-hmm. privilege. It's, yeah. it's beyond oh, it's very real. serious. So yeah. I want to see how she... Yeah. And there's a white... Those. If you're my friend as a white person and don't understand that white privilege is real, you wouldn't be my friend. You'd be my friend. Right. No, you, no. You, no yeah, not, absolutely not, not. Not at all. I really wish they would have threw the book at her. I really do. I, I don't feel... I don't feel no type of way to... You know, towards his his parents and his brother because they just believe different than most of us. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, at the end of the day, like you know, it, there will be a time that I have to forgive you. Yeah. Right. Yep. It it's gonna. Be, it, it ain't. It ain't gonna be the day. <laughs> right. it, I don't know when it's gonna be. Right. It's too soon. It, I, it's too I mean, soon. I felt like it was too soon. too soon. But you know what? I I seen that happen before. I seen a Muslim brother go to court. And but it was a, it was a little different. Um, I don't think that he was meaning to kill a Muslim brother's son. Mm-hmm. Um, he was robbing somebody. I guess he. I think he was uh, there wrong wrong place wrong time. Uh, you know they and they gave, they threw the book at him. He was like eighteen nineteen. Wow. He was black. Yeah. He, oh, of course he was black. But the Muslim guy came to the trial and everything. He said and he said the same thing both of them brothers said. Right. Both, both of them. And then you said his name was both of them. Oh, oh my god. Both said, of them. You said both of them. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Rest you said both of them. Both, whatever, African nigga. Like, <laughs> Muslim dude said, he said, listen, I love you. I want to hug you. I'm going to pray for you. And, you know, he even told me he would come see him in jail. Cause, but that situation is a little different because. He showed remorse or something. He, I, I, yeah, he showed remorse. And he wasn't actually trying to kill this person. Not saying that white girl was, but. I mean, I, 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 I don't she know. Was. I think so. And then she had racist tweets Rest, before, yeah. like and text yeah. messages. Y'all gave her yeah, the, they gave her a slap on the wrist. Do you think any of them black people in Charleston would hug Dylan Roof right now? Dylan he sat and he sat in there and praise and worship with them for right. 25, 30 right. minutes, and then killed all them people. All them people. Then they took this nigga to and Burger made King, it, made it to the police place. Mm-hmm. I mean, Un, district C, uh, untouched. Yeah. He will. White privilege. He, they tried to give him the infinity ticket. He told them, no. No. Because I missed the Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely right. I remember that. Yep. They wanted him to take the infinity ticket. He said, No. Because I meant to do it. And that's the and only reason. Everyone. Yep. That's the only reason why he getting a death penalty yep. right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. That's the only reason why. Because he was being honest. He was it. being honest. Yeah. He, and they, they want, they, you know, they wanted to cover that shit up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, they took this nigga to Burger King. Did you hear what I said? After they t- after they chased them, and how crazy. you know another thing too, how 
they'll try to find if it's a black person that was an unarmed black person that was killed or anything mm. they will try to find something from years ago well they oh, could say on the news they could be like yeah, he was, uh, shot. Yeah, he was they on could his way to church for, um, and he was shot to death by a police officer but uh you know sources say in the eighth 20 grade, years ago he was convicted he, he, I mean, he, he was arrested mm-hmm. for he, having for he possession. peed outside right. and they exactly. gave him disorderly conduct mm-hmm. yeah like what does that have anything. to do with anything they always they they want you they want you to look bad, but they couldn't do that to both of them because they put up a good picture of him. You saw that picture they put up of him? Of both of them. <laughs> yes. They, you I saw, saw that, right? Them, yeah. They couldn't find one, <laughs> right. one negative picture of both of them. Uh, his they friends couldn't... spoke so highly of him. And oh, yeah. That, that was so nice. Yeah. I thought because it was so many white mm. people that they were going to really be like, I couldn't oh, these white people have they to be telling the truth. I guarantee you that that black girl went in there with different intentions. I guarantee you. And oh I, yeah, and she and was easily persuaded by the easy. White they probably you know they gave probably her some money. Frontal was too tight. I would consider her to be. Frontal <laughs> <laughs> was stupid. That shit was fucked up. I would consider her to be like a like a house nigga. Like yeah, house yeah, nigga. yeah. We give yeah. you all this power, right. mm-hmm. telling you to do all this. This is what we want you to do, but I'm gonna tell you to do it so that way you can seem like you up. There. Right. So I feel like they gave her. You know what I'm saying? All this yeah. power. You're making a decision, however, so and so and so. So to make her seem like I'm she's doing bigger this. than, yeah. Yeah, but you're not. You still on right. their side. I would have been happy with the 28 years. I would have been happy with that. Because that means she at least had to do 10 to 12. Right. She got 10 years. Yeah. They five. say five. She's going to do two to five. She's getting out on good behavior. Um, and it's not five mandatory. Like she don't have five minutes. That's why I feel like I felt like I don't it think might so. be five. You don't think so? I don't think so. I think five and then he starts. Because they were everybody is saying that she's gonna do five years. Gotta, so I'm thinking that it has to be five years. You do five somebody. years for weed in my community. That bitch five is going years? Two you do years. Can life can do life for weed and somebody. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. you're going around killing people and you're gonna get the same right. meal I get if I give you some weed. There's people in prison. And she's gonna get her she's gonna become a cop again when she get out. Yeah. Somebody gonna hire her. They're gonna make her a deputy too. Somewhere in Utah or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, they're gonna make her as a deputy. Utah. Because she got experience. Oh yeah, God. she got experience on oh killing my, niggas. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, you know, you know, they that's like crazy. Niggas Put that shit on that. Mm. It's all right. All right, y'all. So um, we're gonna get out of here. But um, what, what's her name? What's the, what the white girl's name? Uh, Amy. Amy, Amy Schuler? Amber. 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 I'm fucking everybody Amber. name up today. Amber. Amber, I just want you to know we do not fuck with you on the Uncensored Mm-mm. podcast. She get that book, 28 years. She yeah, is we... not nice looking at all. <laughs> right. Like when he, she cries, she, she looks look even old worse. as hell. She look like She probably Elmer 21. Fudd. Yeah, she Ooh. she probably 21, Weenie but Bird she look 47. And, mixed together. and those crocodile it. tears, I wish she would have choked on them. Um, T, give everybody your social media information again. Make sure y'all come check her out. Make yes, sure y'all get those chicken do. fingers. Catering uh, Company is T-E-E and A-N-D Catering Company. Wait, Catering Company. She, that, that, she, that, yeah, that yeah, thing. I know, I know. <laughs> it's, it's coming it's in. in. <laughs> and a convenience store is T-E-E and A-N-D Convenience Store. We're at 29 South Morton Avenue, phone number 484-478-8070. It's me, T, and my mom is Karen. All right, y'all. So, um, once again, make sure y'all follow T on the catering page and the, uh, conven- the convenience store got her own page too, right? Yes. Yeah, so make sure y'all follow up. Make sure y'all um, follow us. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, share, comment, rate. We trying to make this one of the hottest podcasts in the city. I'm your boy Slap Rod the King. I'm in here with the Uncensored Crew, Lil Honey. Hi. Okay. Um, <laughs> more wine is in the building. Yes, she's here. Shout out to Linnea and Lauren. Lauren, ours, Lauren is our our, our fact checker. Checker. Okay. <laughs> checker. Check. What, what did I say? Checker. Checker. Oh no, because when I said check, it, my my, oh, lip, my oh, bad. I said both of them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We out. We see y'all next week. Uncensored podcast. What are you ready?